So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to sketch the graph of the function f of x equals 3x cubed minus x plus 2. So let's just talk for a little bit about how we use calculus to sketch a graph. So let's suppose we have something that looks like this. Let's call this function f. It's not going to be the same f, although it looks like a cubic. Now, we're thinking about calculus, so we think about, for example, f prime. Right? f prime is the slope of the tangent line. So here's a special point, right, where the slope of the tangent line is 0. And here's another place where the slope of the tangent line is 0. So both of these are going to be determined by f prime. But there's another point that's notable, and that's right here. Or at least it looks like it. So this graph sort of curves downward up until this point. We call this concave down. Right? After this point, it opens upward, and we call this concave up. This is called an inflection point. This is also going to be important. And this, as I said, is determined by f double prime, the second derivative. So think about what happens to the slope of the tangent line. Start here, and as you move along, it's decreasing, 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 till it hits this point. Never gets smaller than this. Now, keep moving to the right, and it starts to increase again. So this is determined by f prime, right? f prime, uh, excuse me, f double prime. So it's going to be where the second derivative is 0 because it's where f prime in this case reaches a minimum. So what do we have? We have f on this interval here increasing, then decreasing, still decreasing, and then increasing. And these are all determined by the behavior of f prime, right? Increasing uh, means plus, decreasing means minus. But now we have this other consideration, concavity, and on this first part up until the inflection point, this is concave down, as I said before. So this is concave down, and this is concave up. And these are determined by f double prime. Concave down, f double prime, negative. Concave up, f double prime, positive. Right? The rate of change of this slope. Slope is decreasing and then increasing. Negative and then positive. And this guy right in here is the inflection point. This is where the concavity changes. So, let's use these ideas to sketch the graph of 3x cubed minus x plus 2. So, f of x equals 3x cubed minus x plus 2. We know we're going to need the first and second derivatives, so let's just find those now. First derivative. 9x squared minus 1. And second derivative is 18x. So the first thing we want to do, find where f prime is 0, right? Find the intervals of increasing and decreasing. So 9x squared minus 1 equals 0. This implies that 9x squared equals 1. And if we divide both sides by 9, we get x squared equals 1 ninth. So x is plus or minus 1 third. So these are going to give us the intervals on which f is increasing or decreasing. Since we have two points on the real line, we're going to get three intervals. Increasing, decreasing, increasing, or the other way around. Now, what else do we need? We need to know the behavior of f double prime at these values. 
So f double prime at negative one third. Well, we don't really need the value. The value is negative six, but all we care about is that it's less than zero. And similarly, f double prime of one third is greater than zero. So this tells us concavity, right? If it's less than zero, then it's concave down. If it's greater than zero, then it's concave up. It also tells us what, uh, what kind of points these are, local maxes or local mins. We'll see that in a moment. So let's start to sketch this graph. Uh, just to fix a value, let's figure out what f of zero is. That makes the first two terms disappear, and then we get two. Oh, I forgot the inflection point. It's f double prime is, so where f double prime is zero, well, that's x equals zero. So this, in fact, is the inflection point. So concave down to the left, concave up to the right. That means we've got something that looks like this. Now, what is this value here, the value where it reaches a local max? This is negative one-third. This is positive one-third. So local max corresponds to f double prime being less than zero, local min to f double prime being greater than zero. Now, we didn't get any intercepts for this function, but that's okay. What we're really looking for here are the intervals on which the function is increasing and decreasing and the inflection points.